Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the first thing I'll be doing, like always, is farming my eyelids. And then I applied the shadow shields to create a super sharp eye look. And the eye palette that I'm using today is by Natasha Denona, which is called the Star Palette. And the first shade I'm going in with is called Vega. And I'm going to blend this all over in my crease. It's a matte shade and it's like a sort of soft pinky shade. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush and I'm just going to blend this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. I do have to mention that I had my hair dyed yesterday, so there's black on my ear and on my roots. So just so you know, that's just hair dye, it's not like dip brow or something. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the shade Flash. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm also going to blend this all over in my crease. And the Natasha Denona eyeshadows are really soft, so they're really easy to blend in. But I do have to mention that you need to go back in with the shades a few times to make them really show up. But the texture is just amazing, it's so easy to work with. So now I'm going in with the shade Titania. And with this shade I'm going to focus a little bit more in my outer V, just to darken it up slightly. The shade isn't like way darker than the shade I used before, but I just wanted to mix all kinds of shades together, just to kind of experiment. Now I'm going in with the shade Electra, and with this shade I kind of struggled. It didn't really um, sh showed on my eyelid. I'm not sure if it's because of the brush that I used, maybe it's more meant to use with a different brush. So I went in a few times to apply more product, but still it didn't really show. So yeah, that's kind of weird, but I'm sure it did something. Now I'm going in with the shade Earth, which is the darkest palette in the shade. And I'm going to apply this in my outer V as well. So I created this look today and when I started making this look, I had no clue what I was going for. Lately I have this... I'm not sure if I could call it a problem, but I have zero inspiration and even though people send me a lot, I'm just not feeling it or something. But yeah, I'm really happy how this eye look turned out. So now I'm going in with the shade Bellatrix and I'm going to apply this at the beginning part of my eyelid using my MAC 242 brush. And um, there's something with these shimmery eyeshadows, which I can't really explain, but they are so freaking pigmented. So I feel like you should definitely use like a wet brush to get like the most uh, nice effect. I'm still not really sure if I use them correctly, but this works best for me. Now I'm going in with the shade Rhea and I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to apply it a little bit more in the middle part of my eyelid. And also I'm going to softly blend this on top of the other shade to kind of make them melt into each other. When I was applying this, I kind of noticed that these shades kind of look similar, but the one that I'm applying right now is a little bit more on the peachy side. So now I'm going back in with my um, blending brush and just blending a little bit around the edges to make sure that the shimmery shades blend into the matte shades. Now I'm going in with this Bobbi Brown Sparkle Eyeshadow in the shade 3. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this right on top of my middle part of my eyelid. Using my finger, I feel like this works best with these sparkle eyeshadows. And I'm using my blending brush around the edges, again, to make sure that everything's well blended out. Now I'm going in with the De Balm Swing Liquid Liner, one of my oldie favorites. Um, I remember using this eyeliner so often when I started with my YouTube channel. So I'm kind of starting to use it again because I remembered I really liked it, so I have no idea why I stopped using it. Um, it has a really nice uh, point. It's just really easy to work with. It's not like an eyeliner that moves a lot, so you can work really precise with it. So I created a line just straight above that shadow shield. And now I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow, which is a super intense black matte shade. And I'm going to blend this shade right above where I just applied the eyeliner. And this is just to smudge it out. You can also go in with a gel eyeliner. And gel eyeliner dries different than a liquid liner. So it's easier to blend out. Um, so yeah, maybe that would have been a bit more smart. But I just wanted to use that swing liquid liner. But I would recommend to first go in with a, with a gel eyeliner. Sorry. 
um, because it's easier to blend out and I feel like the eyeshadow will kind of melt better together with the eyeliner. So now I'm going in with the earth eyeshadow again and I'm going to use this to kind of blend it out because the black was quite harsh and I wanted it to blend a bit more into my other eyeshadows. And since I have already used this in my outer V, it's like really easy to, yeah, to give it a nicer transition. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M506. I have ordered some new Morphe brushes because I use this brush in every video so I feel like it kind of needs a replacement or at least a backup. Um, so I will be showing them in one of my upcoming videos or I'll let you guys know that I'm using new ones. So I removed my sticky tape and as you can see it kind of looks messy. So I'm going in with my Tarte Cosmetics Shade Tape Concealer and I'm going to apply it straight underneath it. Um, the line at the end looks very straight, but at the beginning it wasn't um, applied well on my skin. So there's still got a few eyeshadow uh, falling on my skin, which made it look really dirty. So I reapplied my concealer and I set it with some powder and now it looks nice again. So I'm going back in with my The Balm Swing Liquid Liner and I'm going to apply a thin line straight above my lash line. I felt like because I'm going in with fake eyelashes, um, it looks better when I create a line above my lash line so the lash band isn't as obvious. I just feel like it looks better. And as you can see, the tip of the liquid line is so precise that it's not hard to create a thin line with. So I'm going to use that earth shadow. Bleh. I'm going to use that earth shadow again using my flat diviner brush by Sigma. And I'm applying a little bit of this underneath my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with the Titania eyeshadow and I'm going to use this shade to blend out that earth eyeshadow. And the brush that I'm using is the Dose of Colors pencil brush. Um, I'm thinking about doing a favorites brushes video, but I think I'll be doing this in 2018, like in the beginning. So I can just talk about my favorite brushes of 2017. Let me know if you think that's like a great idea. And now I'm going to apply this shimmery shade a little bit underneath my lower lash line. I felt like to keep my lower lash line matte was quite boring or something. And I'm going to apply Rhea as well, but a little bit more in the middle part. And I applied them wet again, just because I feel like these shades look better wet. Now I'm going in with the shade Galaxia, not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but oh my gosh, this shade is so pretty. I'm so happy that I applied this shade in my inner corner because I felt like this made the whole eye look complete or something. It just gave it that extra twist. And now I'm going in with the De Balm Mad Lash Mascara. First time trying out this mascara, I'm not sure if it's a new one or I'm just a little bit late. Um, but it has a really nice mascara wand, it brushes really nice through the hairs. And I'm also using this for my bottom lashes. Sometimes I use a different one for my upper lashes than my lower lashes, but this one is really nice. And I used my Anitude Sultry Lashes, I will put a discount code in my description bar. So I realized that something was missing, so I applied a little bit MAC Nylon eyeshadow underneath my brow bone, just to kinda... I just felt like my inner corner was so bright, so there had to be like a shimmery shade underneath my brows as well. So yeah, this is already the end of the look. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I am really happy how it turned out. Um, I know I have done a smudged winged liner a few videos back, but I just, there's something about these smudged out liner looks that I think is so sexy and it's just so feminine, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like this eye look can go with a lot of lipstick colors. It can go with like a red lipstick or a bold color or lip gloss. If you recreate this, just do whatever you think will look great with this. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!